got served is, is a real major phenomenon. Like for my generation, that's all we copied all the moves. We copied the music at that time was 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 life changing. So how did y'all prep? Did you know that it would be a phenomenon? Did you know it would inspire this many dancers? I knew I knew I knew I, I knew the movie was gonna be a hit when we actually took the trailer onto our tour, which was uh I don't know what the hell we call that tour. What the hell did we call that tour? I don't know. I got to go back and do some research. That was a while back. But it was our tour in 2003. And uh, we actually played the trailer every night. So people got a, a preview that B2K, a dance group, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? A great performing group is coming out of a dance movie. And it's our first movie. So it, it kind of felt like it was going to you know, be OK. But we didn't know the level of the success, so they, they took us out. Some people from Hollywood executives took us out, the three of us took us out. And they was like, yo, do you know what this means? They were showing us all the Hollywood reporters and all these different stuff. So they were just showing you that, like, this is a huge, this is a huge success. A movie to do 15 million, number, number, number one in the week with no name actors. You know what I'm saying? We had Megan Make, Good, shout out to Megan Good, shout out to Steve Harvey. But I mean, you know, no, no, no one really to carry the movie. Nah, you had Jack K. Harry, you had Steve Harvey. Man. I mean, no, I mean, no. This is this is what they this is this is their talk, right? Okay. So I'm not discrediting us. I feel we all, as a team collectively, everybody that worked on that project, including the investors, is is what made it a whole. It takes a village to raise a child, but I, I do I, I get what they're saying. There's some movies, but you can have a big star in a movie, and and, and a movie is still bomb. So I just think it was a good chemistry. You know what I'm saying? It was a great, it was a great script. Um, we had some great people that participated in the rewrites. Shout out to Bill Polina. And um, preparation for, for that film, for us, it was like doing a long ass video. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, really, the, 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 it, it was really intense because now B2K is intermixing. Not that we didn't dance with our dancers, but we're really in the dance world now. So, we, I felt that B2K not only earned the respect for ourselves, but we earned the respect from the dance community. You know what I'm saying? Um, and there's there's so many different styles of dance and we were able to incorporate all of those different elements and styles and genres in, into one movie. Um, and it was something that the dance culture made. I feel like the dance culture was underappreciated for many, many years. So it's good to see dancers and, yes. and everybody out there doing their thing. And, and the dance community actually gets the recognition that it deserves because it's a very important art. Um, and you know, for any live show that has dancers in it, I mean, it's like you know, you know, salute to the dancers. So uh, just preparation, like I said, it was like it took us a few months, you know what I'm saying? But learning choreography was pretty cool. But it was just cool to kind of see different things get changed up. Like we actually will have to learn the choreography. After we learn the choreography, then then you know, one one choreographer will come up with his choreography, he taught, and he'll he, you know, and then they'll make us actually really battle. So you start to develop that 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 camaraderie, that that energy, that attitude of battle. You know what I'm saying all the time, and um, it's amazing. A lot of people don't notice. Just a fun fact for everybody out there. But um, the opening scene, you got served. It's actually right after they say time. They're they're still battling. They keep going. That happened probably three or four times in the movie to where they kept the music kept going, and we was like, yo. People ain't stopping. Like, yo, this is this is some other shit. This is not just like the movie anymore. Like, like people, they like cut. They like still just they snapping. So then people don't know, but that's a, that was a real battle between Columbus Short and Amarion. It was just, it was just, it was just crazy, bro. So yeah, but um, I remember getting the call. We were coming back from. We were on our way to Europe, and we just did our contract for for the movie. They were like, "Can you guys act?" And we was like. Yeah, we can act. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, well, they never did no acting in their life. But uh, you know, no. shout out to Clint Culpepper and Screen Jams and everybody over there who uh, who made it possible for us to be a part of such a historical, uh, 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 monumental piece for our, for our culture.